Step, not crushing the instep. I can't help it, Daddy. Your feet keep getting under my feet. Well, I was under the impression your feet were getting on top of mine. I'm sorry, Daddy. Maybe it's because your feet are too big for this room. Hey, does he have to go to that school dance? He most certainly does. Uh, how about you taking over again? Okay, darling. Oh. <laughs> Would you like me to get you my football shoes? No, darling. I like to live dangerously. Oh. One and... Oh, saved by the bell. Do we have to have company now? What's the matter? You sore because we got maybe one good foot left between us? <laughs> Masala. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay that I come without letting you know. Of course it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not okay, I go to a hotel, you know. Oh, oh hotel. We never forgive you if you went to a hotel instead of coming right here. Well, I How could you think of Maybe it's not enough room. Oh, that's a room. We'll make room. Well, there's always room for family in this house. Always. Always. <laughs> okay, it's room. Come on. <laughs> Remember Aunt Sophie and Cousin Stefan? Aunt Sophie, hello, Steve. How's Uncle Habib? My goodness, I haven't seen you in years. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't been that long, Aunt Sophie. Come in, dear, come in. It's my wife, Kathy, my hello, boy, Rusty, Steve. Sophie, Steve, you're Rusty. gonna sleep in the guest Kathy, room. Is Steve, up there? How are you? And, oh, yes, Stephen, you know, so we don't interrupt too much Danielle's household. Somebody gotta sleep on that sofa. Uh, I tell you what, Danielle, you and Kathy toss a coin to see which one are you going to sleep on the sofa. <laughs> Listen, I don't mind sleeping on the sofa. Oh, good. Oh, you you just leave all the arrangements to oh. me. It'll be fine. Kathy will take care of everything. Uh, Daddy, I'll take the bags up to the guest okay, room. Okay, fine, fine. My goodness, oh, Steve, I haven't good seen good you in years. It's good to see you. Good to see you, cousin. Daddy. Hey, Aunt Sophie, you got quite a boy here. <laughs> What you crying about? Turn no, off the water, Sophie, will you? Don't, don't worry about it, Cousin Danny. She's been doing that for a long time now. A, a long time? Yeah, a long time. Now, let me see. The, well, it was two weeks ago that Habib broke his toe. Oh, you mean that's why she's crying? Because her husband broke his toe? No, that's why he broke his toe. He <laughs> slipped on the wet floor. <laughs> and she's been crying for the past two weeks? Yeah. Well, what you been crying about? Yeah, but that's a very good question, Daniel. And is the reason why we are here. Oh. You know, Habib has got very good dry goods store in Tulip. Yeah, I know. Habib and Son, established 1927. Jablots, remnants, peace goods. Never will be undersold. Guaranteed your money back in your Never mind the commercial. <laughs> it's very important, Daniel. You know what fine kind store Habib has. Look, I know. here. Feel that, feel that. <laughs> I buy that Habib and Son, 1939. He wears like iron, or oh, better than iron. He don't get rusty. <laughs> okay, so you got rust-proof pants. Go on with the story. What happened? What happened? Habib and Son, Son happened. That's why. <laughs> Mom, look, stop already. Look, don't don't think I don't appreciate that Papa made me and Son, but <laughs> sometimes I wish I was a girl. Oh, fine girl he's gonna make. He shaves two times a day. <laughs> and anyway, who ever hear of Habib and daughter? No. Daniel and Habib work hard many years, build up fine business, all for son, everything for son. When son is 21 year old, change the name of Habib Drywood Basement to Habib and Son. Put a big neon sign on and off all day. Habib and Son, Habib and Son, Habib and Son, with an arrow pointing downstairs. And he don't appreciate that. Yes, I do appreciate it, Cousin Danny. I was in, I gave it a good try, 11 years. 11 years, hating every minute of it. Yeah, that's right, 11 years. And then three weeks ago, he comes to Habib and says, Papa, 
take off the end, son. I want to leave the business. <laughs> and that's when Sophie starts pouring the water from the eyes. And don't stop since. It's like a fountain. Is it such a crime for me to want to get out of the dry goods business? Yeah, it is a crime. A terrible crime. But it's a double crime to be what you want to be. Well, what do you want to be? He wants to be like you. <laughs> I want to be a performer. I want to be in show business like you, Cousin Danny. And so for that, everybody's on the verge of suicide? <laughs> Naturally. They think the boy's sick in his head. They take him to head doctor. Head doctor? Yeah, you know, put a round stick in a square hole, a square stick in a round hole, <laughs> look on ink blots, cut out paper dolls, answer questions. You like girls, kiddo? Now, that's a silly question. What's not to like about girls? <laughs> The boy is not sick in head. Head doctor sick in head. <laughs> so then they bring him to Tanus. Head of family, wise old man. And I give decision. Stephen, stay in dry goods basement for security, safety. <laughs> security, security, that's all they know. They don't understand how I feel. I want to be in show business. I've wanted, wanted it for a long time. I gave up the dry goods business because one day I woke up and I realized I was over 30. If I didn't do it now, I'd never do it. I'd be in the dry goods business the rest of my life. So like always, Tanus get brilliant idea. My nephew, Dan Yen, I say. He's young. Also, big star in show business, and he's wise, like me. We're gonna go to Dan Yen, he's gonna listen to Stephen sing, and Dan Yen is gonna settle. <laughs> me? I'm gonna settle this? Sure. Yes, Cousin Danny, it's up to you. Well, now, uh, 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 uh Kathy, honey, why don't you take Aunt Sophie up there and help run oh, back? No. Steve, you go along, and no. maybe Aunt Sophie can get a little rest, huh? Yeah, that's a good idea if she get rest, and she build up strength for tonight's cry. <laughs> How can you do a thing like this to me? What kind of a spot is that to put your favorite nephew? Huh? How can I make a decision that's going to uh, influence a man's life? I didn't come here for you to make decision. What? I came here for you to tell him decision I make. <laughs> You're going to make the decision? I made it. Well, if you made it, why didn't you tell him in Toledo? Why'd you have to bring him to New York? Because he don't listen to me, Danya. And he's going to listen to you. He admire you very much. Huh? So, I being wise, I make the decision. Steven is no good for show business, should stay in dry goods business. Uh -huh. And then you, because you are a very fine fellow and he thinks you're a great guy, are gonna tell him the decision I make and he's gonna listen and he's gonna believe you. <laughs> it's clever, no? <laughs> oh, very clever. <laughs> also very dirty. <laughs> no, why is dirty? It's for boys own good, Daniel. Daniel, Habib and son, very good business. It's guaranteed good living for that boy is guaranteed good living in show business? Guaranteed? Ah. <laughs> Wish I had a dime for every kid who had his heart broken in show business. There, you see, then you're gonna tell him, huh? Tell him, tell him. What do you tell a kid that wants to see his name up in lights? But he's got his name up in lights. Habib and son, Habib and son. Look at Ari, pointing down. She's still crying? Like Niagara Falls. Oh, it's hard to believe that one head could hold so much water. <laughs> well, Daniel, what are you going to do? You're going to let your aunt cry her eyes out. You're going to say no to an uncle who loves you. You're going to let Stephen break his heart in show business. Or you're going to be a fine fella. You're going to listen to him and say, Stephen, you are a nice guy, but you got no voice. You sing lousy. Go back to Toledo and work in dry goods business. I suppose I would be doing him a favor. Of course, you're gonna do it. Yeah, but don't rush me, huh? Don't rush me. I mean, give me time. You kind of work up to it gradually to become a full-fledged heel. Uh, I don't rush you. Take all the time you want. Think. Think hard. Think long. Think carefully. And then tell him my decision. <laughs> What's this about your working up to being a heel? You heard him. He wants me to throw the decision, tell the kid he's no good, and go back to Toledo to the dry goods business. Oh, are you going to do that? Believe me, sweetheart, it makes sense. Where's there a guarantee that he's going to make? Oh, hi, Stevie. Hi, Cousin Danny. Mother resting all right? Oh, fine, thank you now. Good, good. Cousin good. Danny, I... Yeah? Well, I, I just want to let you know how much I appreciate the fact that you took our whole problem, we oh, threw it right into your laps, right. and 
And Mama's soaking up the furniture and everything here. <laughs> We're very happy to have you, believe me, aren't we, dear? We certainly are. Thank you. You know, I would have never agreed to come if, if I didn't think that uh, you would have understood my wanting to be a performer. Uh, well, I, I don't quite understand it, Stevie. Why do you want to be a performer? Have you been doing some entertaining? Oh, yes. Uh, lots yeah. of places. Yeah? Uh, like, like where, for instance? Well, at family gatherings and parties and uh, social get-togethers. Uh, well, I was a smash at Cousin Aaron's wedding. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Steve. Listen, Cousin Danny, before you go on, I just want to say one thing. You know, for the longest time, well, ever since I could remember, you're the reason that I've wanted to become a performer. What? Well, you've always been sort of a, sort of an inspiration to me. You know, a, an idol. Well, I better get Mama to dry pillow. Huh? <laughs> well, what now, idol? She that's a good question. Yeah, if you only had a good answer. Oh, look, honey, let's not get emotional about this. All right, so I'm his idol, but. Believe me, it'll be better for the kid if he goes back home to the security of a dry goods business. Look, I'll take him to rehearsal tomorrow. I'll hear him sing, and then I'll give it to him straight from the shoulder. I said, look, kid, you haven't got it. Go back to Habib and son, Habib and son with the aeroplane. <laughs> oh, honey, that's going to be pretty rough coming from you, especially since you're his idol. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Darling, that. what if he's good? Good? How good could he be? Honey, Broadway is loaded with kids that are good. Where are they? I've been in this business all my life. I've seen young hopefuls turn into old hopefuls. Get nowhere. It's better off for him to go back to Toledo. Well, what a spot to be put on. I know, darling. It's a terrible thing to do to you, but... Oh, never mind. If you stop being his idol, you'll always be mine. <laughs> Daniel, what are you doing? I told you will be thinking. <laughs> I am thinking. I mean about Stephen. <laughs> I mean about Stephen, too. Don't worry. I'm even going to be a bigger heel than you expected me to be. Anytime you're ready, Earl. Rock it over. And so if you tell me for this favor, they got big surprise for you. Hmm? Under sign, Habib and son, they're going to put cousin to Danny Williams. <laughs> Thanks, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> song I've got my troubles and woe but sure as I know that Jordan will roll I'll get along as long as a song is strong in my soul I'll never know what makes the grass so tall I'll never know what makes the rain to fall. I only know there ain't no love at all without a soul.
Things good and lousy, huh? Like cheating with tonsillitis, huh? Cousin to Danny Williams. <laughs> Look, Steve. Uh, fellas, take five, will you? I gotta talk to you privately. Yeah, but first you gotta tell Stephen how lousy Don't go too uh, far, guys. We've got to rehearse, you know. No, I gotta talk to you privately first. All right. Don't go away, Stephen. Then you ain't coming back and tell you what a rotten singer you are. <laughs> Come in here. No. Come in here. Oh, you're gonna hit me. <laughs> you hit me out of the break every bone in your body. Oh, oh cut it out. What kind of a double cross is that? Come on, you stabbed me in the back. You care to twist the blade a little bit? What do you mean? What are you talking about? You want me to tell him he's no good? That kid is great. You mean that? You know, I think you need a hearing aid. <laughs> you, you ought to get one. It's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Oh. Well, you mean to tell me you heard what I heard and you didn't get excited? What's the excited? Sure, I heard. What do you think that is, a nose? <laughs> You'd be a lot better off if it were. How could you hear him and not... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, sing this note. Sing this note. You. Ah. <laughs> you. Ah. Try this one. You. Ah. You're tone deaf. Me, that's ridiculous. I got a voice like a bird. Yeah, a crow. <laughs> voice like a bird. That boy has got too much talent. I can't let that voice like that go to waste. He doesn't have to go to waste. He can sing in front of the star. Buying Habib and son. Big bargain today. Genuine imitation. Silk for the I was wrong. You don't sing like a crow. You sound like a camel playing a bagpipe. <laughs> well, to begin with, he hasn't got a, a dry goods voice. It's a stage voice. He could build a stage in front of the star. <laughs> Think on Aunt Sophie. She's gonna cry her eyes out the rest of her life. I know, but... Think on Uncle Habib. This will ruin him. Ruin him how? Aunt Sophie cried on 200 yards cotton goods. Which has shrunk now to 100 yards, Captain. <laughs> How much shrinkage can that little business take? Care if she shrinks, I'm out of business. I can't tell him he's no good. It wouldn't be honest. The boy's got talent. To talent. This may be 100,000 fellas with talent, you say. You tell me yourself needs more than talent. I know, I know. He needs more than talent. Ah. You need luck. You need the breaks. But most of all, you need... Come on, I'm gonna give him the works. Go to it, give it. Listen, kid, uh, you have a very, very good voice. Don Yen, do you think I can sing, Cousin Danny? Do you really think I have it? No, we don't get ahead of me. Yeah, I, I think you can sing, of course, but I didn't say anything about you having it. Huh? Well, what I mean is anybody with a tin ear would know you have a good voice. That is, almost anybody. <laughs> but so what? New York is loaded with kids with good voices. And where are they? Singing in honky-tonks. I mean, is that what you want? You want to spend the rest of your life working in a, some side street joint being background music for cocktails and conversation? I mean, you want to throw away a, a, a going business and a secured future for a job like that? Look, Cousin Danny, I've, I've got to sing. I, I don't care how big the job is. I've got to sing. I've just got to do it. You'll starve to death. You got to do that, too? Well, if I'm going to starve, then I'll starve. Now, Stevie, you came to me for advice, and I'm going to give it to you. You go back home to that dry goods business, boy, and get on your knees and thank the Lord that you've got a dry goods business to go back to. Is that your advice? That's my advice. Well, thanks for nothing. Just a minute. Don't get flipped with me. I'll give you a little more nothing to thank me for. Who do you think you are? A kid from the sticks. This is Broadway, the big time, not Toledo. This isn't your cousin Aaron's wedding. This is it, the Blue Chip League. You realize who your competition is? Can you buck Perry Como, Frank Sinatra, Frankie Lane? 
Well, answer me. You as good as they are? Well, maybe I'm not as good as Perry Como or Sinatra or Frankie Lane, but they weren't as good when they first started. They worked hard, and I'm willing to work hard with or without your help. Oh. <laughs> Look, Mama, I don't mean to hurt you, and I don't want to hurt Papa either, but all I know is I have to sing, and I'm going to sing. Cousin Danny, thanks for everything anyway. Goodbye. Where do you think you're going? I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. Well, don't go too far. Because we're rehearsing here in an hour. What? Then you gotta get over to the tailors and get fitted for some wardrobe. Then you gotta meet your agent and get booked for some break-in dates. Cousin Danny. Tonya, what are you doing to us? I'm sorry, I'm You stuck a knife in my back. You wanna twist a little? <laughs> I couldn't do it. He's got too much talent. But you told me yourself he's not enough to be talented. I know, I know, I know I told you that. It's not enough to be talented. You need luck, you need the breaks, but most of all, you need the want. That big want. You gotta want it so bad, buddy, that it hurts. You gotta want it so bad that you can't even feel the beating you take. And you're gonna take a beating, Stevie. Lots of them. Agents who'll refuse to see you. Audiences will refuse to listen. There'll be disappointments and heartbreaks, and oh, you gotta want it awful bad not to be broken under all of that. And I had to find that out, kid. That's why I was so rough on you. I'm sorry. Thanks, cousin Danny. You know something? Wouldn't surprise me a bit if you went all the way. You, you know something? What? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, shut up! Sure you're not too tired? I'm never too tired to sing. Okay, kid. Anytime you're ready, Earl. Fellow Tooth Uncle. Did you ever see him that happy in the dry goods business? Huh? Listen, my favorite uncle, one of the wisest men in the whole world, once said to me, Daniel, if bird is made to fly, no good to chain him to the nest. Kathy, have you noticed that lately Daniel is talking with some kind of funny foreign accent? <laughs> So much, and you have got the skin that I love to touch. You've got the arms to hold me tight. You've got the sweet lips to kiss me goodnight. From this moment on, you and I, babe, we'll be flying high, babe. Every care is gone. From this moment on. <laughs> so much and you have got the skin that I love to touch you've got the arms to hold me tight you got the sweet lips to kiss me good night from this moment on 